In this video, you are going to learn two things. First, we let the numbers in index form rest to a power to repeated multiplication and hence make generalization. Second, verify that a power of 0 equals 1 and a power of negative n equals 1 over a power of n and a not equals 0. What is the relationship between a number in index form raised to a power and repeated multiplication? For power of 2, bracket power of 3. If we write it in repeated multiplication in index form, will equals 4 power of 2 times 4 power of 2 times 4 power of 2. 2 add 3 times equals 4 power of 6. So conclusion, 4 power of 2 bracket power of 3, 2 times 3. So what equals 4 power of 6. In general, a power of m bracket power of n equals a power of mn. Example 1, simplify each of the following. H power of 7 bracket power of 3. So just now you already learned. If got bracket power of something, you just multiply these two in this. Okay, so h power of 7 times 3 equals h power of 21. Okay, b. Negative y power of 8 bracket power of 3. Okay, so to solve this one, if the index is even number, then we can eliminate the negative. Okay, so you will get y power of 8 bracket power of 3. Maybe some of you don't understand why it can eliminate the negative. Let me show you. If negative y power of 2 is equals negative y times negative y. Negative times negative equals positive. So you will get y power of 2. Correct or not? If negative y power of 3 what happened? Negative y times negative y times negative y. So negative times negative positive. Here we can obtain y power of 2 times negative y. Then when positive times negative, you will obtain negative again. So y power, negative y power of 3. Okay, that's why when the number is even number, so it will become positive. If, if the number of index is negative, you need to remain the negative there. Okay, so now we solve this one. We just multiply these two index. y equals at times 3, y equals 24. Example 2, determine whether the following equations are true or false. A, 5 to the power of 7 bracket to the power of 3 equals 5 to the power of 3 to the power of 7. So we solve the left hand side first. 5 to the power of 7 bracket to the power of 3, we just multiply these two in this, will equals 5 to the power of 21. For the right hand side, also 5 to the power of 3 bracket to the power of 7, we just multiply these two in this, 3 times 7 equals 21. So equals to 5 to the power of 21. Hence, 
5 to the power of 7 bracket to the power of 3 equals 5 to the power of 3 bracket to the power of 7 is true. Now we look at B. 2 to the power of 4 bracket to the power of 6 will equals add to the power of 2 to the power of 4. So we check both sides. Left hand side, 2 to the power of 4 bracket to the power of 6. 4 times 6 equals 24. So equals 2 to the power of 24. For the right hand side, okay, because the best is 2, so I change the number add to best 2. So 2 times 2 times 2 equals add. So 2 power of 3 equals add. So now here actually same value as add. The only thing because I want to compare both sides, so I need to change to the same best. Okay, so now 2 to the power of 3 bracket to the power of 2 bracket to the power of 4 will equals 2 to the power of 3 times 2 times 4. So 3 times 2 times 4 is equals 24. Hence, 2 to the power of 4 bracket power of 6 equals add to the power of 2 bracket to the power of 4 is true. Now, the next question is, how do you use law of indices to perform operation of multiplication and division? A to the power of M times B to the power of N bracket to the power of Q. So means every index in the bracket will multiply Q. So equals A to the power of M Q times B to the power of N Q. We look at example 3. Simplify each of the following. A at power of 2 times 5 power of 4 bracket power of 3. So means that we need to multiply each index to 3. Equals add to the power of 2 times 3, multiply 5 to the power of 4 times 3, equals add to the power of 6, multiply 5 to the power of 12. Okay, so next question, also we do the same thing, just multiply the index into the bracket, so R power of 1 here, so we will get P to the power of 2 times 4, Q to the power of 5 times 4, R to the power of 1 times 4 equals P power of add Q power of 20, R to the power of 4. How do you use law of indices to perform operations of multiplication and division? A to the power of M divided by B to the power of N bracket Q. So we do the same thing when bracket when got bracket and outside we have power of something, we just multiply in the index. So, A to the power of M times Q divided by B to the power of N times Q. Same as here, A to the power of M over B to the power of N bracket power of Q. So, equals A to the power of 
m q over d to the power of n q. We look at example four. Simplify each of the following. So now you know already outside the bracket got power of four. So you just multiply each in this with four. So you will obtain four to the power of three times four over five to the power of two times four equals four to the power of twelve over five to the power of at for b we need to solve the multiplication above then only we can simplify the algebraic terms if number two don't have power you must assume it is power of one so two to the power of 2 because 1 times 2 equals 2 so here 2 to the power of 2 p 3 times 2 is 6 so p to the power of 6 q to the power of 4 here times 2 equals q to the power of 8 okay so this one the index just multiply into the bracket and same as here behind here also same thing 3 power of 1 times 5 p power of 1 times 5 and 5 times 2 okay so we will obtain 3 power of 5 p power of 5 q power of 10 over 12 p power of 6 q power of 7 Okay, so 2 power of 2 is 4 and 3 power of 5 equals 243. So we gather all the number at the front. 4 times 243 divided by 12. And for the P, P power of 6. If multiply means we just add the index. So 6 plus 5 minus 6 because divide. Okay. And same as Q. Q power of add. So add plus 10 minus 7. So when we count it, you will get 81 p power of 5 q power of 11. Okay, for this part, we are going to verify a power of 0 equals 1. Okay, first we start with the division in index form. 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the power of 5. As you know, if divide means the index you did to minus. So 2 to the power of 5 minus 5 equals 2 to the power of 0. If we write it, if we write it in repeated multiplication, you will get 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, times 2 over 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and when you simplify it you will obtain 1 so conclusion 2 to the power of 0 equals 1 p to the power of 4 divided by p to the power of 4 so p to the power of 4 minus 4 so we will obtain p to the power of 0 if i write it in repeated multiplication i will obtain p times p times p times p 
over p times p times p times p. If I simplify it, it will equal 1. Okay, so conclusion p to the power of 0 also equals 1. So in general, anything power of 0 will equals 1. So a power of 0 equals 1. If 1000 power of 0 equals 1, also equals 1. If q power of 0 equals 1, also equals 1. Okay, so now we need to verify a to the power of negative n will equals 1 over a to the power of n. Okay, let, let's look at the example 2 to the power of 3 divided by 2 to the power of 5. So we write it in law of indices will equals 2 to the power of 3 minus 5 equals 2 to the power of negative 2. If we write as a repeated multiplication, it will become like this. And we simplify it. So 1 over 2 times 2 equals 1 over 2 to the power of 2. So conclusion, 2 to the power of negative 2 equals 1 over 2 to the power of 2. Okay. So we try the next example, q to the power of 2 minus 5 equals q to the power of negative 3. If, we, if I write it in repeated multiplication, q times q over q times q times q times q times q so equals here i simplify it okay so i will obtain 1 over q to the power of 3 can you see q to the power of negative 3 also equals to 1 over q to the power of 3. Okay, so in general, a to the power of negative n equals 1 over a to the power of n. So when you see the index got negative, let's say k to the power of negative 9. So what you can do, uh, you also can write in fraction 1 over k to the power of 9. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand what I talked just now. And don't forget, click like and subscribe my channel. See you.